What's going on, YouTube and Destiny 2 community? This is FGTV back at it again with another Destiny 2 video. In this video here, we are going to talk about the upcoming changes and improvements they're making to the game in early December and early next year. Um, I wanted to make a video discussing things they needed to change. But uh, I couldn't get around to it, and I couldn't find a fifth idea, so I never made it. So with that being said, the video is pretty much going to be that, on top of the other things that Bungie is changing and fixing for Season 2 and for everything else. Everything that was wrong with the game, everything that people had problems with, they're pretty much fixing, which is kind of good, but... um kind of bad at the same time because maybe they're rushing everything putting it everything into one patch and one update for season two so we'll see so um like i said this whole video we're going to be talking about the improvements and changes they're going to be making um first and foremost they're going to be coming out with a competitive ranked crucible that's going to be dropping sometime early next year Hopefully not too far into the beginning of next year, we will have a ranked and reasons to play said Crucible. Right now, there's no power creeping anything. The power doesn't matter. The power level and on all your weapons and your character it doesn't matter. It doesn't give you the the uh, added effects. It doesn't give you the one up. It doesn't give you the the uh, benefit of the doubt. For investing more time into the game. Like on previous uh, Destiny 1. How Trials was power based. The weapons were power based. Everything here has the equal amount of damage. Regardless of the power level. Which people are complaining about. So they will. To me I think. They really didn't discuss it in the post they made. About what's going to be in said competitive. And ranked. But I have a feeling that it should have something to do with the fact that there's no power differential for weapons in Crucible. There's no power differential for things and anything Trials related, Iron Banner related, regular Crucible related, nothing like that. So hopefully they do that along with the other fixes they plan on making with Supremacy uh, scoring and stuff like that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Masterwork. Masterwork is basically stat rerolls for Destiny 2. They're going to have a little section there on the, the actual gun itself. And it's going to say Masterwork Weapon. And it's going to give you different stats and different um, abilities for your guns itself. Um, they really didn't go into much detail. About it in the post again. Legendary weapons will drop as an upgraded Masterworks version. Masterworks will have a few advantages over the baseline legendary weapon. Tracks and displays number of kills. Um, and it gives you a different, like I said, it gives you a different stat, stat bonus. So what everyone wanted, they wanted a reason to grind for the top tier weapon. And... That's what they're giving you. They're giving you the, the the benefit of the doubt where each weapon could have its own stat. So say, for example, you want the better Devil's Hand Cannon. That could have high caliber rounds. That could give you, you know, on this uh, clip here, it shows 10 to reloading speed. I don't know. They didn't give you a list of what each stat could be or how high the stat could go. It just gives you an example of said 10 reloading speed to this year old skip um it also for raids they're going to have a higher chance to drop masterwork weapons and armor so that is pretty much uh what everyone wanted what everyone was complaining about how destiny one you could stat reroll and do all that good stuff farm for the weapon that you really wanted and not uh 
and not have a a reason to uh, farm for weapons because that's what people want. So I'm glad they're doing something about it. A little late than never. Some people say it should have already been out along with the release of Destiny 2. But again, they don't want to put everything right off jump and then not have anything to work for, which I understand. So Raid and Trials of the Nine Weapons have a higher chance that you drop Masterworks. And they have uh, big plans to extend that throughout the, the beginning of next year. So hopefully they follow through with it and hopefully they, uh, they give us what we want for the Masterworks and all that good stuff. Um, speaking of Masterworks, they're going to be coming out with ornaments for your armor, which is basically the trans mods, which I, it's me, I'm really not too impressed with. I, I like some of the armor and I don't like some of the armor. It's basically player preference at this point. So we'll see how that goes. And we'll see. They're trying to implement more ways to use shards and currencies that you guys are stacking up. Because everyone's stacking shards and everyone's stacking you know, materials. Because what's the point? What's the point of exchanging it for your old gift that you're just going to break down? Because it has the same stats as previous your old gifts. So, that's pretty much all we're going to talk about for Masterwork and the armor ornaments itself. Uh, that's going to include um, pretty much like Iron Banner. To me, Iron Banner doesn't need armor ornaments because it's one of the best looking sets in the game. Um, speaking of sets in the game, I think they should come out with the whole uh, set bonuses. So, for example, if you grind out all the uh, armor for the raid, you would have a set bonus if you was wearing said pieces of raid gear. Not, you know, too much. Don't go overboard with it. But that's something I think they should implement into the game, especially when people are grinding day in and day out for uh, some of this stuff. Give a little incentive in doing things like that. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Zur. Uh, on the 12th, Zuri is going to be offering a new kind of engram. It's going to be called the Faded Engram. And what that engram is going to do is going to give you 100% chance of getting an exotic that you already don't have. For those people who are collecting exotics and stuff like that. So it doesn't say that it is account bound. So um, hopefully... Hopefully it is, to be honest, because, again, people are going to get on each of their characters once per week, and they're going to buy their little engrams, and before you know it, they're going to have every exotic, and there's not going to be any uh, any time to grind for anything, because there's going to make it easy for people to get their exotics. Which is, is good for some people, but uh, they're making a game at the, where everything is easily obtained, and... Where you're not grinding for it. So the people who are spending hours and hours and hours. They're, they're really not benefiting from the investing the time. Which is to me isn't right. But uh, again. I guess Bungie has a different plan for all that good stuff. Along with that they're going to increase. The uh, exotic drop rates. When you obtain three of coins. It's going to be a currency or a consumable. That you can buy from Xur with an exotic shards. Uh, the exotic shards for the faded engrams are going to be 97. And I'm not too sure how much shards you have to get to get three of coins. Uh, basically it increases the exotic drop rates from any sources for four hours. Uh, it, there's no stacking mechanic and no need to reply before every boss. The legendary shards you can obtain easily throughout the game so getting the three of coins shouldn't be too hard they're going to be coming out with an easier way to obtain legendary mods which to me there's really no point there's really no point to uh, to come up with that because the legendary mods was already easily obtainable through uh, the gunsmith what they should do is come out with better mods because some of the mods in there are kind of pointless. 
So hopefully they fix that. They increase uh, either the stat wise or make a new new kind of weapon mod to where you're actually benefiting from it. Yeah, there's there's some small benefits where you know you're getting a little bit of uh, ability recharge rate and stuff like that, but we want something new. We want something better than that. And hopefully, season two they deliver. And uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to see where season two goes and what they decide to do with it coming beginning of January and so forth. Because I know a lot of players have stopped playing or has stopped playing as much Destiny because there was really no point of playing it. There was really no point of grinding because they didn't they didn't reward you for grinding so that's pretty much the big topics for this this list here i will leave a link in the description on the bungie.net post where they posted all this stuff out so you guys can have a look for yourself uh there's a couple topics where i didn't really go into depth with because to me they impacted the game very little kind of like the experience boost that they're they're helping with in uh, season two. They're saying it takes too much experience to get a engram. So what they're doing is they're going to help you with that, which I don't know. I, I agree with it because the power level and item level and um, your actual character level is going to be increased coming in trials. So. Uh, I'm excited to see where that goes. I'm excited to see where Destiny 2 lands at the end of this uh, Season 2. See what kind of uh, changes they made. And see if they are bringing back the Destiny 2 community where it was. Uh, one last topic. They are going to give you uh, better rewards for doing things like strikes. Things like the... Lost sectors and tedious things like that in season two. So again, keep a lookout for that. Keep a lookout for Destiny Two post on Bungie.net. They will post everything you guys need to know for the upcoming Trials of Osiris and after. So this is FGTV signing out. Peace.